Good afternoon. Cara Donnell here from District 71 Toastmasters and I'm delighted to be interviewing Harry Knox from DLS Communicators in Waterford. Thank you so much Harry for, for joining us today. Can you tell me something about your club please? Yeah, my club is called uh, DLS Communicators. It's one of two Toastmasters clubs in Waterford and I helped form it uh, 30 years ago and we've got 20 members in it. It's got a cross section of people, the average age is 25 to 35 years of age, so it's quite a young profile. And we provide training in communication skills and leadership skills, mainly through the medium of public speaking. Fantastic. An average age of 25, Harry. 25 so what, to 35, yeah. So what are you offering the younger person? Uh, fun meeting, I presume. Uh, lots of fun and fast-paced. And we move people along quickly through their leadership program and their communication skills program. So every meeting is well tuned, organized, runs quickly and smoothly, and uh, people get through the program quickly, so they're not, uh, there isn't a lot of time wasted. Okay. And you said programs, can you explain these communication Sure, programs? yeah. When people join Toastmasters, uh, they follow a communication track, which is basically, there's a manual with 10 speech projects in it, and uh, they cover various aspects of communication skills, like introducing themselves, constructing a speech with a body, uh, and an opening and a conclusion, uh, a project with emphasizing vocal variety, uh, motivational speeches, uh, persuasion, inspiration. So there are 10 speech projects there. So in our club, people do roughly five of those projects per year, so they can finish the manual in in two years, so they're working on the communication skills. Also as part of the club, they're taking part in evaluations and in topics. So evaluation to me is a very important part of the Toastmaster program. Uh, the ability to give and receive feedback is very important. That's how people learn about themselves, learn how to improve, and also to be able to give feedback is, is a very important quality uh, in uh, real life. So evaluation is giving feedback, positive, immediate feedback. You don't get that in very many other organizations, and certainly in ones that uh, give training in public speaking and communication and leadership skills. Uh, you don't have this extended program of a fortnightly meeting going on for a year or two years where you get this feedback. And evaluation, to me anyway, is all about uh, self-awareness, growing and developing as a person. And Self-awareness uh, self is one of the important skills for the emotional intelligence and all the research tells us that people with good emotional intelligence do well in their careers. That's fantastic. It sounds like the benefits of your club would really, you know, I suppose, would appeal to many people. And that age group, I'm just wondering, what would they be coming to your, your club primarily to gain? Yeah. Uh, some of them would be students who need help with presentations in college with the Warford Institute of uh, Web Water Institute of Technology in Waterford. Uh, so they want help with presentations. Others are young people who are on the go, young professionals, maybe teachers, maybe working uh, in accountancy or engineering, and, and they need help with working on presentations at work with their colleagues or if they're speaking out uh, in. Uh, their association or branch, or maybe even in the in the community. So therefore, they're looking. Then there are other people who come along who just lack confidence, and they have heard about Toastmasters. And um, certainly, most people who have a fear of public speaking are lacking in confidence. But people lack, lacking in confidence generally won't be really aware of why they're lacking in confidence. They just know they're lacking in confidence, and they want to join an organisation where they'll be forced to meet new people, where they'll meet. Uh, nice new people and uh, so then they get involved in the program and you see them making incredible progress. That's fantastic. Harry, can you tell people what, what day you meet and where and when? Yeah, we meet on the first and third and fifth uh, Thursdays of the month at 7.30pm in the Edmund Rice International Heritage Centre which is uh, in Barrick Street in Water City. So that's in the uh, power room of the Edmund Rice International Heritage Centre at 7.30 p.m. on the first, third and fifth Thursdays of the month. And guests are always welcome and we sign members up. Usually most people who come to our club, they sign up straight away, but we don't put pressure on them, but we've got such a positive atmosphere that they want to be part of it straight away. I want to be part of it. It sounds so Great. exciting. 
to be part of a dynamic club, go to Harry's Club on the 1st, 3rd and 5th Thursday in Barrack Street, Waterford. See you there. Take care. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Harry. Thank you.